So we are back outside the Lion Inn, day two of the lightweight walk. As you can see, day one, I'll put a little bit more of the first. And then at the end, I'll do a, a third video. in the distance, the lion in. A little bridge, and then this stone here is light wake. So, once you get going after that light wake stone onto this moorland path, it's a bit rugged. But it's pretty well defined with uh, boundary stones all the way along it. And then you're heading into the heart of the moorland now. So we've just been carrying along that moorland track for a while and then you get to two marshes they're on the map a big one and then a small one and it's really hard to navigate but if you keep heading southeast and then keep up look up in the distance you'll see the boundary stones just head for them use these there's one there and then there's another one up ahead see if it's dark that's going to be a bit more of a challenge kind of goes left and right through the marshes and if you're not look, if you're not careful you'll disappear right another tough bit to get through so yeah keep heading southeast towards the boundary stones and you, you should be fine So we're through the uh, the thick of that marshland now. It's best to give that a wide berth if you can, both them marshes. And then the track gets pretty decent again. We're just following the boundary stones heading southeast still. So we're just dropping down into the first valley now, and then you can see where the, the lightweight path comes up out the other side. There's a boundary stone down there. Spots on your right. Right onwards. So they're on a bit more grassy moorland path now. And there's a pond on the map. And in the distance, coming over the horizon in a minute, it's going to be Shunahau. It's the first real hill of day two. So I'm going to get to the top of that 
I'll show you the views. There's the Shunner How. Just walking up it now, it's not very big. Just a, a mound with a cairn on top. But nevertheless, in the moorlands, it's still a nice feature. Just after Shona How, there's a Y in the track. You want to be bearing off to the left, heading east. Head for that. Carrying on on this track. Boundary stones painted white on tops. Give us a good idea of the direction we want to be heading. Go straight over and you'll see a wooden fence post. It's got LWW carved in it. So just walk straight past that, back onto the moors and then you're back into much the same kind of terrain. Just following your nose. We're just following the gorge still, which is pretty much where the lightweight walk was. But there's paths off to the side. Most of this walk today has been pretty unmaintained. It's not a very popular walk like the Cleveland Way or the Pennine Way, so it doesn't get the money spent on it. But in the distance there, you can just see we're approaching Blue Man If Standing Stone, I think it's called. I'll put its name and grid reference on the screen. So we'll get there, and we'll have a little breather, take some pictures, and then crack on. So we are arriving at Blue Man If Moss Standing Stone. We have a mouthful, I think I got that right. It's one of the few prominent points in this, this section of Moorlands. So we're going to stop here, have a snack. Onwards. Well, we've worked our way along that big long plantation, and the moor's starting to change now. I think it's getting a bit lusher and greener. We're coming away from the barrenness, and this um, stone formations up here, these are called raven stones. They're on the map, so they're a good navigation aid. And we'll get up up and across them and we're almost at the halfway point we're pushing 10 mile now so halfway through day two all systems are functioning reasonably well area filing girls. So I've got a little stream to cross now so I'm going to do this and I'll chat to you in a minute. Thank you. 
So once you get through the valley, you'll lose sight of filing dells to guide you. But then you start to see Simon Howe rig. So just head for that. Can't miss it, big prominent point on the top of the hill. We are approaching Simon's Howe rig. 260 meters high above sea level. Early warning station, RAF filing Dells has just come into view, so we'll just head for that. finish dropping down off the moor you're going to reach this gate behind that gate is the railway all you need to do is drop down and then cross the railway at that point and then carry on heading straight on up the hill Fenbog, work your way up the hill and then head towards the A169. We're going to go straight across that, head towards Ella Beck Bridge. There's the road in the distance there, we're heading up to, towards. filing dales over there on the right and then there's the main road where you're just going to turn left and then down to where them speed reducing our early signs are you can see where we're going to bear right onto that short path off the main road So once you get off the main road and go up the chalk track, through the gate, follow this footpath next to the fence and RAF Filingdales is on our right now. So we're just skirting around the outer bounds area. So once you get to the corner of the fence, there's a public footpath sign and a footpath going off onto MOD land. Just go straight on there. Keep the stream on your left and then head for this flat bridge and then there's another bridge in the distance you can see and just follow that path just keep heading all over across the moors so RAF Island Dells will start to disappear just behind you and to your right to carry on following this rocky path Go up on the hill you can see a little mound a couple of K away that's the way you want to be heading for next I think it's Lilla Cross heading due east so that should be all you need really for navigation for a while so after battling through all that heather and peat bog the lightweight walk path meets up with this track 
and you get to a gate and up there you can see a little cross which is where we're going now so here we go then you finish the climb up to little cross pavement becomes really good at this point it was uh, pretty ropey in places behind us Right, so we've left Lilla Cross. We're coming on in the same direction on this path. In the distance, you can see Raven Scar Beacon. So you know where you've got to go. You won't be able to see it on the edge so too far away. But there's a similar type path. Looks like it goes right up the side of the hill. So there's a few more things between here and there to see. But that is your. Uh, Now then, we're a few miles further on now, Little Cross is well in the distance behind us. The sea's coming into view even better, and the beacon on top of Raven Scar. I think I can zoom in. The beacon's on top of that hill. Here we go, we're approaching the cairn. So we're on our final descent down now off the moors, down to into the valley, and then we'll make our way up Juggerhout, which is looking like a bit of a mission. But we'll take our time and get up and get up it. And then along the ridge, a little bit more of an up incline, and then we'll be at Raven Scar Beacon. So I'm not going to bring you back until I'm at the top of Jugger How because it might take a while and I won't be at the door. So, see you at the top. Here we are on the top of Jugger How. Wasn't actually as bad as I thought it would be. Major incline done and my um, last major decline as well. Right, onwards.
So we've come over the main road now we're back on the moors heading for Raven Scar making our last ascent up towards the beacon and the endstone. Right, there it is in the distance, the beacon. It's a kilometre away now. It just did not want to get any closer. But we'll be there in about 10, 15 minutes. And then I'll show you the bruise and the finish stone. See you at the end. Right, we've now arrived at the beacon, just back the trig point behind me, let's have a walk round. This was 42 miles across the longest width to North Yorkshire Moors on the lightweight walk route. A one off for me, there's parts of it I really enjoyed but there's a lot that I wouldn't do again. They're, they're worth doing once, some of the bits. But there's the beacon. We've done it. So, pop over onto the channel, watch video one, which is day one. If I get me act together, I'll do a boring video number three, and that'll all be the um, navigation and that kind of stuff so if people want to do the walk I'll do my best to help them get the route sorted before they leave so yeah like subscribe leave me some comments lightweight walk mate completed it for the one and only time see you later I'm the three dancing, 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 I